departing from Da Nang, Vietnam. Home to trains, airplanes, buses, ships, and lots and lots of motorbikes. But about 750 kilometers north of here, in the capital city of Hanoi, there's a brand new method of transportation, a first in Vietnam. On November 6, our very first major system went into operation. This is big news for Vietnam, which is one of the most densely populated countries in the world. The major project broke ground in 2011, and after 10 years of construction, the total budget for the project came in at 868 million USD. 669 million USD was loaned to Vietnam by China's official development assistance program. Currently, there's only one line on the heavily congested route from suburban Ha Dong to downtown Cát Linh. But Hanoi is already building a second major route, and is slated to open in December next year. There is another major system being built in Ho Chi Minh City, though it's uncertain when that system will open to the public. The ticket price for a trip on the new Hanoi Metro ranges from about 30 to 60 cents in USD. One all-day ticket is 30,000 dong, equal to $1.30. And monthly tickets come in at 200,000 dong, or about $9. And students and workers in industrial zones can get 50% discount. The ticket prices are this cheap because of government price protection policies. This means that the government uses our national budget to subsidize each ticket to keep prices low for everyone. The Hanoi Metro system marks a new stage of development of Vietnam's long-established public transportation system. Vietnam has an efficient bus system which spans the nation, with more than 10,000 vehicles in 60 out of 63 provinces. Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh City, Da Nang, Haiphong and Cần Thơ are the cities with the most buses in Vietnam. And bus ticket prices are also protected by the government, so the price for one trip is only around 30 to 40 cents. Students also have a 50% discount on monthly tickets for buses. And bus tickets are totally free for poor people, disabled people, people who are over 60 years old and veterans. Aside from the city bus system, Vietnam also has a highly developed sleeping bus system that connects provinces together. And the prices for sleeping buses can vary from 2 to 40 USD, depending on the distance. Vietnam also has an awesome railway transit system for long-distance journeys stretching all the way from north to south Vietnam. You can go from Hanoi to Chi Minh City in 31 hours for between $25 and $70. Traveling by train is very common in Vietnam, and about 5 million passengers use our railway system every year. If you would like to see what it's like to travel by train in Vietnam, you can watch some of my travel videos on my channel, Luna Oi, right here on Means TV. And one last bit of exciting transportation news for Vietnam. The government recently announced that by 2030, Vietnam will open two new high-speed railways connecting Hanoi to Ho Chi Minh City. This bullet train will also be the first for Vietnam and will revolutionize long-distance travel in this bustling nation. There are still many difficulties to manage such as budget and infrastructure issues before Vietnam can have a world-class and fully modernized transportation system for our people. But these recent developments show great progress and I, for one, am very hopeful for our future. This is Luna Oi reporting from Da Nang, Vietnam. Back